Hello everyone. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight in Atlanta. If you're visiting me, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a rainy night in Georgia. Yes, it is. It's a rainy night in Georgia. Okay, but if you're everywhere else besides Georgia, sin wanting to see what's happening on those trending topics in the social media realm well fam you got it welcome fam welcome fam on into the house yes come on sit down kick off your shoes and let's talk about this situation with nene leaks honey yes nene leaks is making headways out there she's opening a can of whoop ass for somebody she has called herself getting litigation on some folks and as you can see i got a lot of different pictures some you may be familiar about some you may not be familiar with okay but i'm gonna clarify it as we move along but again welcome fam i missed y'all i hope all of y'all who work today got it good you know grinded real well and it was hump day so we slide down towards the weekend we ain't got for one more day i don't count friday because friday is gonna be good regardless okay regardless it's gonna be payday for somebody or it's gonna be the end of that week and we're gonna all shout hallelujah thank you jesus for those that uh profess the lord jesus christ okay for those who have their own other spirituality i know you still can say fry yay can you hear me hear me fry yay let's celebrate like cool in the game celebrate good times come on that's right give everybody a hug in the family go on and squeeze up with each other because i know we ain't gonna agree before uh, we leave the house tonight. I know we ain't. We're going to have different uh, difference of opinions running around. People going to get into their feelings. They're going to get down in them comments. Try to light each other up and me along with it. But I'm going to tell y'all, don't do it. Don't do it. That's the quick, quickest, fastest way to get dismissed from this channel. Okay? We family. Love it. Like it. Or however indifferent you may be about it, honey. You might like me today. You might hate me tomorrow. You might go check on me another day to see what I'm doing. You might come back and apologize. You might come back starting more shit. But either or, we family. Get used to it. We got to love on each other. That we all we got, right? It's my channel. It's your channel. But you know it's only one CEO. Okay, but let's get on into this story. We as we talk about Nene Leaks. She done called herself, done got with an entertainment lawyer, a feminist lawyer at one time. Then she gonna start representing a man uh, who pretty much had a little casting couch out there in Hollywood. Yes, he was the one that like if you want to come to Hollywood and make it and all that kind of jazz, you had to give it up. And I'm talking in a way when you're dealing with a man or same sex, you got to give it up. You got to get the goodies before you can get those fantastic paws and these plays, showstoppers, and these movies, headbangers, music industry. You want to be seen. You want that, um, what do you call it? All that glitter mm -hmm, that we say ain't gold sometimes. Yes, you want all that fame, fortune. You want to be in that fishbowl type of living lifestyle because you got it like that. You want it like that. You want to floss. You want to floss. You want to be the boss. Okay, but there's a cost. There's a cost. I'm telling you every time. Okay, but anyway, let's get into some edification on this Lisa Bloom, whom allegedly Nene Lee tried to go and hire or did hire. And, you know, maybe she just got on a retainer because. Personally, y'all remember Snake Gate. Y'all remember the fictitious uh, thing that Nene got. Nene need to be going live at 10 o'clock tomorrow to tell her what the hell going on is what she need to be doing, okay? But, hey, it's her show. We just riding, looking out, and we're going to make our comments as we go along. And you know we're going to criticize because we family. We educated over here. Sometimes we can get ratchet downright ugly if we have to come out of our demeanor that people are known for us to be we can woo, honey we can flip the script in a minute in a heartbeat you come mess with the fam okay somehow we get unified when somebody jumping on the family we could probably can't stand that family member and you know from the soul of the 
top of their head to the sole of their feet. But you ain't gonna, they ain't gonna let nobody else talk about their family. Oh no. See, we thick as thieves over here. Somebody come for me, you best be sure somebody gonna come for you, okay? And I'm talking about in the fam realm, okay? Not my biological family I have off of YouTube. I'm talking about my YouTube family. They don't like people talking about me, okay? They'll come and get you straight up and I'll come back there for them too because we be watching. The watcher watch the watcher and the watcher watch the watcher and whoever get watched, okay? If you understood that, tell me. <laughs> Cause I just like I just like how I sound y'all Y'all know I got my sideballs And I be tripping my own self out If I don't be tripping y'all out Okay But getting back to Lisa Bloom Yeah she's an American attorney American civil rights attorney Who advises clients Uh she was like a fem feminist lawyer back in the day But she is the one that goes and help women Empower women to not let men on the jobs Discriminate against them You know um, But somehow she flipped the script Because somehow she got messed up With that Harvey Weinstein You remember the cast and couch situation Oprah Winfrey was on board with it uh, Until she, you know it came out uh, that he did this Which I'm pretty sure she knew he was doing What he was doing up in Hollywood Hell it's one of them hush don't tell But if you want to read the benefits Come on over and join us okay But it's a lot of demonic satanic type stuff going on But if you can handle it okay You come on in that door I'm telling all my fam Shut that door Lock it up Board it up Put all the windows on ah, Don't touch it okay But I gave you fair warning But if you do what you want to do Which you know you always going to do I'm going to love you Pray for you And just leave it like that okay but anyway, uh, yeah, she's uh, represented Har Harvey Weinstein, and then she tried to call herself discrediting Rose McGowan. Anybody don't know who she is? Her claim to fame of how I got to know her was when I was watching that TV show called Charm. Um, supposed to be about some witches, supposed to be good witches, you know, whatever. But uh, it was uh, showcased on the CW network, and she was her claim to fame there. At least that's where I got to know her at and her acting abilities. But then she went off and started doing other type stuff with um, uh, what was that? Uh, Lifetime and some more little shows of that nature. But uh, you know, uh, Harvey Weinstein was the biggest. Uh, case out there that I know about of a movement that was sexually harassing women to get favors or get promotions on the job you know it wasn't about their ability uh to do the job their skills and talents they were just looking at what they can get from them physically you know uh or take from them i should say to elevate them to that next level that they should have got on their talents and their abilities to do that particular job so a lot of things are going on in the work field and um she called herself representing this and that okay and i'm like wait a minute you a feminist lawyer you are empowering lawyer that empower women and their downfall because of men okay now how did you flip the script and go uh call yourself representing a man uh and all the things that you stood for you represent somebody just like it that you try to put in jail and you know take their uh take them down off their pedestal because they did so many things wrong towards women so i'm kind of confused yes this is the lady i'm talking about now that's lisa bloom okay I'm like, um, Nina, you couldn't go hire Phaedra Parks. Okay, at least you know that. That person. But, of course, she hadn't been winning out there. You know, Lodge. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I can see why you probably did what you did. <laughs> okay. But Lisa Bloom and a lot of activists uh, for women, civil rights attorneys, what she's supposed to be. She came about with this uh, sexual abuse case against Harvey Weinstein. She was representing him. Go figure. Okay. What they say? Flipping the script real hard. And she went out to um, Rose McGowan trying to discredit her on some of the things that she was saying against uh, Harvey Weinstein. But we all know how that's playing out, still playing out. Uh, men going to still do what they do want to do when it comes to sexual uh, exploitation of women. Uh, just our plight. We just have to deal with it and handle each case accordingly. Okay, women. So keep standing up for your rights. Okay. And someday men will see the light. All right. Uh, but yeah. She, Lisa Bloom, made her claim to fame, her career, 
or her attorney career out of representing women against powerful men. So, see, that was just a little edification on Miss Lisa Bloom. If nobody knew, nobody wanted to take the time to Google her. I gave that to your family as a bonus because, you know, I don't go out there and investigate shit. Okay, I just give it how it's given to me and I put my own perspective in it. I want y'all guys to weigh in with me in case I miss something. And y'all sure do. Miss Marisol, yes, I'm going to shout her out. <laughs> Cause she be going in. Hey, she be going in on me sometimes. She be going in on the folks that she don't even know. I be like, after Mary, so calm down. Love you, girl. Love you like a fat girl, little cake. All right, but she definitely has been a ride or die, and I, I love her to death. I love her that cause she speak her mind. Yes, she do. And I have some other ones that speak their mind. But she's the most prevalent one that would get a sister or brother or it together in a heartbeat. So. Gotta love because we have family members like that. You know, they cut up like hell. And then you have to calm them down. Like, what the hell did you say that for? You know that person can't handle that shit. Calm down. Go, go get in the corner somewhere. Hell, don't say that for the rest of the night, okay? That's what we have to do for Marisol sometimes. But it's okay. It's all in love. We love her. We embrace her. We put our hands around her. Tap her on her head. Give her a kiss on that forehead. And then we say, hey, sit down somewhere. Uh, and, and don't move. Just don't say shit. Don't say nothing else, okay? But anyway, uh... I'm going to give you my speculation of what's going on. Then I'm going to get into an article that was um, written up by. And where it go? Okay. Oh, that, what in the world? But anyway, I'm going to find it, y'all. I'm going to find it. Let me go back out. Oh, Lord. What did I do with it? But okay, my speculation is just in general. Uh, I'm thinking, who's she trying to sue, girl? Well, I'm going to get it from Urban Bell. That's where I'm going to go with it. That's where I'm going to go with it. But before we get into that article, because, you know, I like to start with y'all, you know, giving y'all my little hypothesis, my little thing that I feel was going on. Then we scoot on back backwards. You know what I'm saying? We work backwards. Um, but my thoughts are, is she trying to sue Barbara? Her bread and butter. She's trying to build that with Andy Cohen. Trying to sue True Entertainment. Girl, what you trying to say? They they infringing on your um your civil rights. What you trying to say, Nene? Come on and bring it out, girl. We'll be with you if that's what's going on. But if it's not, and it's just a plot to have another storyline, girl, we're going to wear your behind out. Yes, we are. We're going to get on this tube, and we're going to say, look at him. You did snake gate to us. You tried to make us feel like it was a true audio out there. V.I. Audio or uh, a video, it didn't really matter. You said you had somebody and you were trying to implicate Yovana and then left that girl out to dry. I saw what you're doing. That shit wasn't right, Nene. It wasn't right at all. But okay, you playing your part. We on entertainment, uh, ratchet TV shows, and you performing for us. Okay, and you did your job. But anyway. Is it that? Is you trying to go make litigation against them, girl? Or is it Kenya Moore? You trying to stand on with Kenya Moore, girl? Or is it Hollywood at its finest? Uh, girl, tell me what's going on. Are you part of that Me Too representation movement, girl? Kenya Moore would only hope that you would try to sue her. <laughs> okay? She could only hope. But, mm -mm, Kenya. Nene ain't paying you but does. Okay, so no, you're not on that level. She's not trying to take anything from you because she feel you don't have anything. You remember she calls herself the rich bitch. The head HBIC, but you know, uh, dictionary before this word and fam, we don't took her card on that one. But she still claims she's a rich bitch. So I don't know. She dropping um houses on her oldest son. I guess she got it like that, hon. I want to see the deed. That's when you're really smoking. But if you're making payments, okay, Nene, you just like the rest of us, okay? Because ballers out there, they purchase cash, okay? And then they put shit up for assets, okay? But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you're floating like that. But are you going into litigation against uh, your oldest son, baby mamas? Because they out here uh, defaming your character. They saying in and everything about you. What you got going on, Nene? I know you ain't going after that little girl. Oh, geez, don't do it that way. Because, see, she's just bringing speculation. She ain't bringing truth or anything up there. Or she, she's expressing her truth, maybe. But that's not saying it's the gospel truth that is, you know, truly indeed. You have done some infraction or your son done some infraction. We don't know. But, you know, are you are you trying to see litigation against that poor girl or them baby mamas? Girl, I mean, that's a new low for you. Because I'm like, let your, let your son handle his own battles. Don't get in that shit. Just keep doing what you're doing. If you feel like you got to provide a house. Uh, or, or, or shelter over his head because he can't do no better. Then you do you, girl, and forget what the haters are saying out there, all right? But um, yeah, or is it something going on with you and Greg? Cause I know you was at that Super Bowl party. 
uh, turning it up like you was uh, a single woman out there. What was great? But I ain't seen no pictures of Greg when you was at the Super Bowl. You were with the other actors and actresses, but mostly actors. You would have a good old time with them. They were serving you up on a platter, licking you down. Yeah, nah, let me go back. That ain't true, y'all. But she was out there partying with them men, okay? And you know how men get together and got with one woman? Girl, they be talking shit, smacking everything else, but they be talking some truth and all that drunk and stupid that they got going on while they celebrating the Super Bowl. But I have my question to you, Nene. What, what was great? Girl, what was great? All right, you keep leaving him alone. He going to stray, girl. He going to stray. But I don't know. Maybe I got an open marriage. You're trying to allude to it at one time. Then it may then, it might didn't come in fruition how you wanted it to. Like, you got Greg as your side, baby. You're just hunting for a new person like a little cougar out there. Or are you trying to do litigation with your friend, uh, Wendy Williams, girl? Because she had tapped you and put your news out there for us to partake of now that's kind of petty too or is it love be sky because she uh got something from who she said was your camp that sent that um letter out of a card that you gave cynthia bailey Are you getting that petty where you trying to come out the content creators such as myself bloggers big name bloggers such as uh wendy williams and love be sky Okay, you, girl, what's going on? You got me going in circles. My mind is going in circles. Out of my mind, that's where I'm going. Trying so hard to keep up with you, Nene. Girl, yes, you got our minds going in circles over here at the fam. We're trying to figure out. We got all kinds of speculations going on, but we ain't got no true tea. Girl, can you drop it down for us? Can you drop it down for us so we can move on to something else? But right now, we're at your doorstep. We camped out. Or is it Swag Boutique? Uh, I know you're leasing them buildings up there in uh, all three states, okay? But you have litigation with the people that you lease the uh, properties from. Um, girl, the uh, places where you're housing your clothing works. What's going on, girl? Swag in trouble. Well, again, like I said, it's a Hollywood. Do you feel like Hollywood, true entertainment, reality TV has shown you to a side and they're infringing on your livelihood? Somebody, you, you in that Me Too movement, girl? I'm just saying. I threw out all kinds of speculations because I got to thinking on that thing. I said, mm, that's something. That's something. Should I talk about with the fam? Hell, I was talking to myself about So Hell, I ain't going to talk to myself. That's kind of Looney Tune type stuff. Let me get on here and talk to my fam. Get their expectations. Get their suggestions. They thoughts on it. Okay? But let's go on into what Urban Bell was giving us. I know it's going to be short this week. I ain't too much to it. They just got Nene out there talking about she represented. She has on retainer uh, Lisa Bloom. Uh, and like I told you, I gave y'all her resume of what she does. And I'm just trying to figure out the best plausible cause that I got. She must got some against uh, True Entertainment. How they showing her. And maybe she feel like she's being sexually harassed. Or uh, they infringing on her. Uh, I don't know. Hey, I ain't going to make up no excuse for Nene. I just want her to break the tea. But again, if this some to be a PR stunt out here. Just to get us talking about you. Getting us raved up. To boost up your fan base and stuff. That, that, I mean, that's a good marketing ploy. That's a good marketing ploy. You working. You working from every, every angle. Stay relevant. If this is what you want to do. But Nene, girl, you need to come with some proof now. Cause I'm tired of you coming up with these empty promises of somebody's doing something to you and then it ain't shit. Because you, you look like a whole damn fool out here on you. Especially with Snake Gate. Okay, all this shit just plastered all over your face like a big old ass. And I just took it, whipped it up, made some biscuits, and we started throwing them at you. <laughs> We need some sauce from back in the day, girl. We need you to be read and you come through with the tea. Okay, but right now you ain't coming up with nothing but some oatmeal like somebody on a diet. Girl, come on now. Come on with it. But anyway, we're going to go on into the article. And, of course, we have Amanda Niles Anderson or Anderson Niles over there writing up this beautiful article on uh, Nene Leaks. She works over there for uh, UrbanBellMag.com, all right, magazine, doing her little thing. I told you she must be the only uh, author or journalist over there that's permitted to write for them for anything housewives, okay, or married to medicine. Because she is, I try to catch her on every account 
to see if they're doing something on a, a trending story out there and she's a pretty much a credible source you know what i'm saying i kind of like her so y'all go on over there and partake of any other stories she may be doing but you know how i go i just do the ones that i like and i move on okay but she goes on to say real housewives of atlanta star nene leaks is no stranger to controversy in fact she has she has had her fair share of views on the show and while she was able to mend things with portia williams tanya sands even Marcel, things are still unresolved with Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey. Now, of course, we know she gonna be in fences with Cynthia Bailey. That's her last person to make up with, okay? But Kenya Moore, hell no, that would never be hell would freeze over. Hell, Nene would probably go to hell herself before she would let that happen when she starts um liking Kenya ever again, or the show might end up ending because of that, and they might make up. <laughs> But no, uh-uh, their feud is legendary, and it needs to continue if they want to keep making revenue, okay? But that was my sidebar, not in the article. Going back to the article, it says, while the door isn't necessarily closed on Cynthia, things have only gotten worse between Nene and Kenya. And yes, they bring in the drama. Yes, they are. We be sitting there looking, honey. We be taking sides, but they still family regardless. But you know, hey. We get unbiased. We get biased sometimes. It just is what it is. It depends on if you really acting um, morally. You, you're coming morally undone. You know what I'm saying? Like you have no scruples. You're just going to go for the juggler and that's it. And take the very life out of them, uh, that person or whatnot. And we can't have that. No, nope, you can get them close to death. But then you got to revive them. You got to do the CPR, okay? Then they'll know what they're working with when they try to come to your front door again messing with you, okay? Do they want to go through that? Do they want to go uh, through that? Uh, intermediate, intermediate uh, type of lifestyle where they get the very life stuck out of them uh, for a few minutes and then you know it's reinstated. <laughs> They'll think twice, honey. It's like a good ass whooping. Do you really want to get another ass whooping, or you want to go into that gym and train and and, and do some more uh, maneuvering type tactics when it comes to self defense before you go up to against that opponent again? You just tell me. I do the latter myself. I ain't gonna get an ass whooping again if I know I got a good one that time. I'm gonna come back prepared. All right. All right, but going back to the article, that was my side, boy. It says, interestingly enough, Nene took some time off from the feuds to hire a lawyer. And it looks like she's ready to take someone to court, okay? Leaving us salivating on who, where, when, and why. Okay, that's what we got going on, Nene. Too many unanswered questions. And we need questions, girl. Answer. ASAP. Okay, but then it, uh, that was again my sidebar. But we go on back to the article. It says Nene Leaks have been frustrated with the current season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her fan, her fans have found, or her fans have been vocal on social media about Nene not getting as many scenes as the other women on the show. Regardless, Nene time on screen has been eventful, and her feud with Kenya Moore has been downright explosive on the current season. Yes, yeah, because they want to throw them bows, throw them bows. Yes. Okay. That's my sidebar. Going back to the article it says, well, Nene has taken some time away from her feud to hire an attorney. Okay. Moments ago, she confirmed that she just hired Lisa Bloom and she's gathered enough evidence to go after her intended target. Now, Nene, girl, I don't think I'm thinking about it. If they trying to find you for real and you ain't ready to go, you ain't ready to let this true true train go that you help establish as being one of the first cast members on the show girl what are they doing to you what are they doing are you not coming with anymore and they're like well um, we don't want to pay you no more this salary or we're not going to film uh, you as much in the scenes and from what I'm understanding y'all get paid per episode you know a lot of your cast mates have brought that uh, information out for us to partake of and view it however we want to but that's like stated facts if you're not seen in the episode that means you didn't get paid for the episode so you're missing revenue now we do know you your claim to fame and you're gonna stick by it even though we can see straight through it we've been transparent over here okay we're seeing clear to the big picture that you're saying you uh were still in negotiation with your contrast that's why we didn't see you for the first three episodes or, or whatnot and we haven't been seeing you that much this season for season 12 okay like how long are you gonna be in negotiating with your contract before it comes to ring out something different you know what i'm saying what didn't get clean 
in the um, washing part, the rinse will take care of it, baby. And are we seeing the end result of Nene Leaks on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? So she trying to store more trouble, more trouble, okay, to create another storyline, or is she being intimidated, uh, harassed by her executive producers over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta? I don't know, girl. Are you a part of that casting couch and that Hollywood scene? Rose Gowan was, and she didn't like it no more. Yeah, she had to get Harvey Weinstein allegedly sold up for his infractions he was doing against her in the Hollywood scene as well as um, any other people that tried to come and get lucrative parts in the business of Hollywood okay but like I tell people you don't want to be out there you don't want to string yourself up down there okay if you can't play the game get out get out honey there's no shame in the game all right get out if you got to sacrifice your soul your peace of mind and all that stuff get out girl get out but if you down with it go ahead go ahead do you honey do you but I'll tell you Everything that glitter ain't gold, okay? And you can't sell your soul to be profitable, okay? In the spiritual realm is what I'm saying. But that's it, guys. Here from Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta GA. All right. Um, you girl. Thank you, family, for coming, sharing your time with me and um divulging information that I may or may not have. Uh, that you want me to be enlightened about about this subject topic yes get in them comments let's interact with one another just be respectful and respectful of other people's opinions about the subject matter okay and always love you guys love you and continue to share my videos like my videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so become a part of Deb Chanel's 48th world it's a family affair it's a family affair all in love it's a family affair we want you here now <laughs> okay but anyway y'all be blessed and i will talk to y'all next video good night guys bye bye